On this report, what I would like to do is review the recent report that we published in Seeking Alpha. On November 27, 2017, by our research director, Scott McDonald. Summary. Gold and silver are both building a strong bottom formations and offer excellent opportunities to go long in stocks, futures, or ETFs. The gold market will probably revert back to the mean on an intermediate to long-term basis, which projects prices in gold all the way up to 1386 to 1400. If the market does test support and you get the opportunity to buy gold at 1166 to 1044, you would be buying the bottom of the 18-year cycle. In silver, 1676 to 1654 is the bottom range and silver should move up to the 1705 to 1756 levels in the coming week. I wanted to do this video so that we can examine a little more in detail what this report is telling us for the price of gold and silver. In my October 10th report published in Seeking Alpha, I examined the long-term gold forecast using the proprietary variable changing price momentum indicator, the VCPMI yearly outlook. You can refer to the uh, article for more information about the strengths and weaknesses of, of the program. We have provided basically the links to uh, the report to facilitate for you having access to these reports and basically all the information that we publish and all the charts that we publish. And so on this report, the uh, VCPMI identifies the average price for the coming week and once it identifies the average price for that mean, it gives us two levels, a cell one and a cell two level. The extreme above the mean or the extreme below the mean. Gold closed on October 10th at 1288 above the 50-day moving average, which uh, confirmed that the long-term trend momentum was bullish. The long-term VCPMI indicated that the that if the market closed uh, below 1253, which is the yearly average price, the pivot point mean or equilibrium, that it would negate this long-term bullish trend to neutral. Since our October 10th report, the gold market has remained largely unchanged, closing around roughly the same price for the, from the uh, September 28th to the 30th low of about 12.63 for the uh, December gold contract. We have rallied uh, to make a high on November 17th, of 1297.50 to 1298, which basically met the monthly targets that we have been publishing for the past few weeks. In uh, meeting the first target of 1298, the market is reverting back to the levels of demand once again into that 12 
76 to 1264 area, which are the current demand levels we expect for the coming week. Uh, in the October 10th report, we indicated that the yearly gold moving average price was about 1263. The long term trend momentum was about 1253, and with the market closing above 1263, it indicated that the extreme above the mean target was activated at 1386 to 1484 levels for the short term. For the coming week, the uh, weekly mean is at 1285, and if we were to uh, close below 1285, then the next level of support or pivot point will be about the 1281 level for those with a long-term position. You can use this level as an indication to go neutral. Use it as a protective st uh, uh, stop. If the market closes about 1281, obviously it indicated that the monthly targets if it, uh, uh, of 1276 to 1236 would be tested. Excuse me, if it closes below 1281. If you go neutral uh, on a close below 1281, uh, you can wait for the market to come down and activate those targets of demand. Or if the market closes below 1281, it would indicate that the long uh, side, again, on the weekly VCPMI, it would indicate going long once again. At the, uh, at the levels in demand, at the levels in blue that you see here. Um, we can almost see a, a nice rounding double bottom formation uh, developing right into the levels of demand, which at these levels basically offer um, a, you know, B1 level offers about a 90% probability that the market will revert back to the mean, which is the VCPMI level in green. If uh, the market comes down, as you can see, to these levels of 1264, it's about a 94% probability that the market will revert back to the mean and above the uh, extreme, above the mean. Uh, and you can see here, uh, the market pretty much uh, uh, reacted uh, exactly in that uh, fashion. Uh, it went back up to test the extreme above the mean. It came back down and tested the extreme below the mean. And now we're on the way back up again, testing the extreme above the mean or the supply area or zone that we see here in red, which is the 1380, uh, 1306 uh, to 1297. This is the weekly, the weekly chart. And if we close above 1306, then we're looking at the higher uh, numbers that fall into the pattern of about 1307, 1307 to 1326, which is the monthly targets that we're looking at. For the coming week here, the weekly mean of 1285 um, is going to be uh, the average price. And if it comes down below that level, once again, the 1276, as you can see here, um, uh, could be activated. Uh, the low today was uh, um, 1285, came right into this uh, uh, level, uh, the, the mean or the average price, and it's trading right around there. So we've identified the levels of supply and demand for the following week. And, and now we're going to let the price and the market dictate those levels of supply and demand and trade those levels, uh, basically, uh, that are the highest probability uh, in using uh, inversion to the mean. The uh, multi-year uh, gold cycles as well um, uh, support the market uh, to be above with the 50-day moving average as well. Uh, since uh, our report, on, which was published on October 23rd, the price of gold hasn't changed much. Um, as you can see here, um, pretty much it's uh, traded in the vicinity of about 1264 to 1308, uh, which was established in October. Um, in November, obviously, the market tested uh, the highs of 1297, 1298. The, the bottom of the range that we're looking at again is 1264 to 1265. And the report basically said that the market, by closing above the 50-day moving average of 1235 for three consecutive months for the first time um, in, in, uh, in four months, it basically, uh, for the first time in four years, basically, it indicates 
that uh, we have uh, a major long-term uh, trend developing. Uh, November is going to be now the fourth consecutive month. It will close above the 50-day moving average. Uh, now on November 25th, which is when this report was published, the 50-day moving average is trading at about the same price or level of 12.35. So in looking at the monthly uh, chart, uh, trading above this average now, it looks for about nine months uh, is a very good indication that the market is about to make a significant move. What could potentially happen with gold? Uh, as long as the market remains above 1235, we expect that prices to trade above the mean and the first level of supply of about 1386, the second level of supply to about 1484. According to our analysis, um, uh, basically, um, we, uh, uh, we recommend using the extreme above the mean as your targets uh, to take some profits off the table. Um, the protected level of the 18-year cycle is 1264. This means that if the market closes below 1264, it would negate this 18-year cycle to neutral. Uh, this would open the possibility that the extreme below the mean of 1264, once again, uh, could be tested. This levels of demand starting at the buy one level uh, of 1166 to 1264 are the bigger numbers that we're looking at in terms of the long-term 12-month uh, cycle or 360-day cycle that we're looking at. Uh, I'm not sure if, if uh, the market uh, is able to come down to these levels here, but if uh, given the opportunity that the market does break into this uh, tremendous uh, lower levels here, it would be buying a historic buy, an 18-year cycle low um, that uh, would be a historic proportions basically if, if that happens um, in, in looking at the 50-day uh, moving average at 1235 the market uh, holding above it is still holding uh, a very bullish position so um, let's uh, take a look at the um, um, numbers here that we have for this week uh, basically this uh, confirms here that the uh, uh, what we use is the nine-day moving average uh, to identify the uh, weekly trend momentum of the market and the market closing above 1285 came in bullish this week but uh, the the uh, algorithm also tells you that if it closes below 1285 that you can use that as your stop level 1285 is the vcpmi weekly price momentum indicator and uh, this tells you that uh, closing above or at 1285 it's bullish with a target of 1297 to 1306 um and uh, just to take a look at the uh, current price of, uh, of gold today, um, we're looking at the last price to be about 1295 uh, with a high of 12.99. And uh, you can see here the algorithms are beginning to sell into the supply zone that has been identified by, by, the, uh, by the algorithm. Um, and so going back to uh, the... Um, uh, levels of support. Uh, this is telling us that if we close below 1285, uh, buy into the 1276 Order to filled. 1264 levels for the gold market. Um, my opinion is basically now that we're trading through that 1285, uh, we're going to accomplish the target of uh, 1297 was accomplished today, Monday, first day of the report. The second target is 1306. Closing above 1306, then we're looking at 1327, 1326, which is the monthly high for the price of gold.